Hello and welcome to the OpenMX video tutorial series. This video will teach you how to model simple bivariate regression using path modeling. On the left, what you see is the equation for a bivariate regression. On the right is the associated path model for this equation. I have highlighted the relationships between these two. All regression coefficients are located on the arrows of the path model. The triangle represents the number 1 and is used for modeling means and intercepts. To model the intercept of this equation, we multiply the number 1 by b0. To model the effect of our predictor x on our outcome y, we multiply our x variable by b1. We also have an error component to this model. We model this as an error variance of our outcome variable y. Unique to the path model, we also model a mean and variance of our predictor variable x. Now let's create this model in OpenMX. First we load OpenMX into R with the library function. Next we read in the data from a .csv file with the read.csv function. This file can be found in a link below. The model which generated this data is here. B0 is 1.5 and B1 is 2.5. OpenMX does not know that this is the true model, but we will attempt to recover these parameters using the data. We can then inspect our data with the summary function. Here we can see our variable names as well as some descriptive statistics. Next, we store the names of these variables into an object for later use. I am using the name manifests, as variables in path diagrams denoted by squares are known as manifest variables. Now we can build our path model. This chunk of code creates the path model from the beginning of this video. We store all this code into an object. I called it my model 1 in this case. Everything is housed within the MX model statement. Everything you see here is part of this statement. The first argument to MX model is the name of your model. I called this model simple regression. The type argument lets OpenMX know what kind of model we are creating. In this case, we are creating a RAM paths model. Manifest vars is the names of our manifest variables. MX path is a function within MX model which creates the arrows between our variables. We can have multiple MX path statements within the MX model statement. The first path we are making is a path from our X variable to our Y variable. We set free to true to tell OpenMX to freely estimate this value. Arrows lets OpenMX know how many arrowheads are on this path. As this is a regression coefficient, we have just one arrowhead. Values gives OpenMX a starting value to solve this equation. You are free to give any value to start, but OpenMX will change that value iteratively until it finds a solution, so long as free is set to true. A rule of thumb for values is that variances and covariance paths should have larger starting values than regression paths. Finally, labels gives a name to this path. This makes reading the output easier for us later. Now we close this path and start a new one. This time we are going to model the variance of x. So we make a path from x to x and give this path two arrowheads. We then call this path var x. We then do this same thing for the error variance about y. Finally, we model our means and intercepts. We do this with the word 1. 
One is a reserved term in OpenMX for modeling means and intercepts and should not be used as the name of any other paths or variables. To speed things up, we are going to use the C function to tell OpenMX to go from 1 to both X and Y. We give these paths labels using the same method. We end the MX model statement with the MX data statement. Here, observed is just the name of our data set, and type is set to raw, denoting that this is raw data and not a covariance matrix. Now we can run everything and then inspect the properties of this model, such as variable names. Until now, we have only set up our model. OpenMX has not solved anything. To solve our model, we must use the mxrun function on the object we stored our model into. We then store this into an object and get a summary. Here is the output of an OpenMX model. At the top, we have our paths and their estimates. Names is the labels of our paths. Matrix lets us know if a path has a single arrowhead, A, has two arrowheads, S, or is a mean, M. Each path goes from the column to the row. Estimate and standard error give us the values for each path. As you can see, it appears OpenMX was able to recover the parameters of our model. The B1 estimate is very close to 2.5, and the B0 estimate is very close to 1.5. Below this, we have our number of observed statistics, number of estimated parameters, and degrees of freedom, which is observed statistics minus estimated parameters. We then have a fit value, which is the negative 2 log likelihood of our model. We then have the number of observations in our dataset used to build this model. We also have AIC and BIC values. These values are nearly meaningless alone, but allow us to compare SEM models used on the same data. The general rule of thumb is that a model with a lower AIC or BIC by about 4 is a better model. We will go over the rest of the output in a later video. Thanks for watching.